guys, it's another video for math to everyone because right now, because of the corona, you're stuck at home and you can't really go anywhere to practice your math. So I'm going to be helping you practicing to practice your math at home. And if you want to try and figure this CML question before I show you the directions to finishing it, you can screenshot this you can if you have a computer you can go to pages and make new document and then it'll come up you type this up and then you print it and then you can um try and solve it on your own and i'll and then you can once you face that you can come back to the video and see if you're right or wrong. I like seeing when people learn from their mistakes because it's very common for many people to make mistakes. So let's get started. Mr. Bailey leaves the house and drives five minutes east to pick up his daughter, Betty. Then he drives eight minutes north to pick up his son, Tom. Then he drives five minutes west and then ten minutes north to pick up his other daughter, Sue. Then he drives home. How many minutes did Betty spend in the car? So this has a lot of directions. So we're going to make a little um compass so you write you could just write a normal square i'm gonna extend this so you guys could see and you write i remember if i never eat santa's pink waffles i keep getting confused with waffles and pancakes because they're made from the same substance but cooked in different ways so never eat Santa's waffles <laughs> and then I like drawing this out because this is a lot of directions so he drives five minutes east you just make a dark circle to know where he lives five minutes I know that five min i'm going to do short min short for minutes so we don't need to write a lot so we arrive at this little dot that to pick up betty and then you go eight minutes north i'm gonna shorten this a little because i might not have enough room I'm going to shorten it here. It might be a little small for you guys to see. I'm just doing this so we have enough room to write everything down. So you can write your five minutes to remind you how long that took you to get there. And then you go eight minutes north to pick up his son, Tom. And then he goes five minutes west. That's the same amount he went east. So that's just going back here. Make sure there's a line. I'm going to try not to get so diagonal because I don't want to confuse you. And then... He dry, and then he dries 10 minutes north. So he goes this way for 10 minutes, five minutes, eight minutes. Man, he goes this way, he goes this way, make the dot, and he went this way to here. And then he drives home. So, obviously, he doesn't have to go around all this. He could just go straight down here and go through here because there's five minutes 
that way and then you went five minutes back but just extended it so it's 10 minutes plus eight minutes because you can take away the five minutes that's for going on this road to pick up betty and um tom so once he arrives home that's a total of going 18 minutes So once you go 18 minutes down, you there's a lot of math here. You might think it's how many. When I first did it on my own, I I looked over how many minutes did Betty spend in the car. I thought it was how many minutes Mr. Bailey spent in the car. So I got confused at that part. So that means. So, I the reason I went straight down here is because we're not, we already picked them. We're, we were picking them up going, and then now we are just c going straight back home, bringing everyone. So that means including Betty and, Betty and everyone else but also we can take away this five minutes because it says how many minutes did betty spend in the car he went in the car over here so that means we don't need this five minutes because then that's the extra five minutes bail mr bailey spent in the car driving to get or pick up um, Betty, so we add eight minutes, five minutes for going this way, ten minutes, and then going down is eighteen minutes to the house. We add it up. Eight. That is. 41 so we carried this over to get the answer of 41 you make sure you put minutes and then you know this is the answer so you circle it and then carry it over here and write it nice and big so this is how this is the answer to the question if you really like if you wanted to try um, another CMO, you can watch my other videos and do the same thing. But I won't be mentioning it in the other videos because I just forgot to mention it. And then you can also... And then if you fish all the CMOs, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know what's... So, you know, if any more new CMOs come out, so you could check on them and try them on your own and see if they're right. This may seem a little boring, but it's very fun if you find out what you've done wrong. And also, when you do these CMOs, it's, it's like... You're doing math, but it's like fun math, and it goes through all different things besides like in school, you focus on one thing like um, fractions um, or like multiplication, but then in CMLs, like you could mix multiplication, addition, subtraction, fractions, and stuff like that, and overall, they're not so much challenging and they're they're a good way to practice your mind on paperwork and if you run out of paper you can always just go and go on print and type it up and then do all your work on your computer and then you can try different things out and it'll be very fun thanks for watching